What you guys got another video here for you. Windows 10 bug crashes your PC and then it damages the operating system where it needs to be repaired. In my testing, at least that's what happened. So I'm going to show you exactly what this is. Now it has been posted on Bleeping Computer by Lawrence Abrams, but the original person who, who found the uh, bug was Jonas. The one who found the previous uh, bug has found this one as well. And this is his uh, Twitter account here. So Jonas L has been the person who actually found this bug. Now, this bug means that it can be used as an exploit, which means other people can literally uh, use this bug. I'm going to copy this right here. I'm going to paste this straight into the browser and then push enter. Now, there's other ways you could get this to work, but you can see here straight away, as soon as you push this in, you get the blue screen of death system service. Uh, exception and again you get that um, a sys file that comes up here so it's rebooting the pc here and i'll let it get back to the desktop now this bug has been found uh, on windows uh, version 1709 and later so it's been around for quite a while and uh, you may be thinking that uh, it's not that bad if it just crashes your pc but you could put this into some sort of code into a script just like this one a batch file and basically run it and it will shut your PC down, which means people can use this in a malicious way, which can also, by shutting the PC down like this, could damage the operating system and means you might have to reinstall Windows. You can see here, I full shut down uh, the operating system using the code and basically on reboot, the PC froze. Now this is a virtual machine and uh, I can do this on here safely because there's no data on here. But if this was a, a computer, your computer with all your files and your data on it, and this was a malicious file that someone has sent you or a piece of code in maybe a script you've downloaded, and this happens, uh, some people haven't got the knowledge to fix PCs. So this could literally be happening to you. You can see here it's now frozen on the screen, and I will have to force shut down the PC, which is never, ever a good thing to do when you have to keep forcing shut down a PC like this. So I'm going to quickly close this virtual machine down and try to get this back running again uh, just to show you. So you can see here I'm now forcing down a uh, close on the virtual machine and we'll restart it and see whether we can get this to work again. Now it did freeze a couple of times more and then basically what I did on the third time I got the uh, please wait and of course it went into uh, fixing mode where it tried to fix uh, the uh, Windows operating system. So again, running this uh, code like this did actually damage the operating system where it had to be repaired. So you may be thinking to yourself, well, just don't run that code. Well, the problem is it shouldn't happen at all. It should be protected and it shouldn't be happening. So now it's out there and someone has found a piece of code that will close the PC down. Someone could use this in a malicious way. It could be used in many different ways to cause damage to someone's operating system or shut it down uh, like the way I just showed you, which is never a good thing. So just imagine this in a real life scenario where this uh, sort of bug could be abused and used to uh, basically cause problems to home users or even businesses. This can be uh, used in a way to cause major problems for people. And you can see here by just running it twice, it's actually caused the system to shut down and then not boot. And that can be a major problem. Now, if I kept doing it, who knows what uh, the sort of damage it can do to the operating system and even run the risk of losing data. So again, these uh, sort of nasty bugs that have been found by Jonas uh, are very important. That means that Microsoft will now have to try to find a way to fix these particular bugs to keep your PC and business PCs safe from people using it in a malicious way. So that was just how you can use something so simple like putting it into a batch file like this, which is basically Notepad with a bit of code in it like this, so simple, and then just making it into a batch file and then running it, and it basically shuts the PC down, and it can be used in a malicious way like that. Now, of course, when you full shut down a PC this way, uh, it can cause damage to the operating system and cause, uh, you know, a risk of losing data. So, again, it's not a good thing and uh, it's out there and people know about it. And um, so it just goes to show you how vulnerable you are. And this shouldn't be possible 
to shut Windows 10 down in that way very easily by using a simple method like that. Now, the worrying part is when someone like Jonas finds a bug like this and it's been around for quite a while, what other people can actually do uh, when they're looking uh, for things like this, exploits which they can use against you. So it's good work that uh, people like Jonas are doing there and uh, good work like Leaping Computer and, and myself and try to get the get it out there so people can actually see uh, what it is and that will force Microsoft to actually do something about it and try to fix uh, the problems that Windows 10 has to keep you guys safer. So I just want to say a big thanks to Jonas who actually found uh, the bug and also big thanks to Bleeping Computer to posting it so I can then find it and then show you guys and bring it to your attention. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video is some sort of use to you and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Big thanks to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.